Assalamualaikum. Uh, today we start some terminologies first. First of all, what is oscillation or vibration? Uh, let's suppose this is uh, some fixed position. Uh, I am actually showing a pendulum over here with the help of a string, a small bob, metallic bob is suspended over here. This is extreme position. When you release it, it will move forward and go to another extreme position and then will come back. When it will come back over, over here, we will call it has completed one oscillation or one vibration. So when vibrating body moves forward and then come back to the same position, then one vibration is completed. All right. Now what is time period? Time taken by vibrating body uh, to complete, it will go forward, it will come back. So time taken by vibrating body to complete one vibration is known as time period. So this is represented by capital T. And remember its formula will be equals to 1 over f, small f stands for frequency of waves. And it is, as it is a time, so its unit, unit will be seconds. Next is frequency of waves number of waves frequency remember is a number here we are discussing about waves so i will say number of waves otherwise frequency can be number of students or number of tables or number of chairs anything in numbers so here frequency of waves mean number of waves passing through point of a medium in one second number of waves passing through point of a medium in one second is known as frequency remember frequency is represented by small f not the capital f and this will be equals to 1 over t just like from here and unit of frequency is hertz h e r t z all right next terminology i am discussing is amplitude i have shown a waveform over here now this is the mean position this is mean position so particles of the medium are moved up maybe up to here maybe up to here and here look at here this is the maximum displacement this maximum displacement of particles of vibrating body is known as amplitude so simply what is amplitude it is the maximum displacement of vibrating body okay the last one is wavelength so as it is a length of course unit will be meter so what is wavelength i have shown crest and troughs over here i take any point on the crest let's suppose this is the crest this whole all these points are crest i take this point on the uh, extreme upper side go to the next consecutive crest take the same point again now from these two points in between these two this distance is known as wavelength so we may define it uh, the distance between two consecutive crests or distance between two consecutive troughs is known as wavelength wavelength is represented by this symbol we call it lambda lambda l a m b d a and as it is a length so unit will be meter its unit will be meter thank you very much